This is just a quick walk around of the Simplicity weed cutter. I call it a brush cutter because I tend to use it for cutting through brush and trees up to about an inch and a half in diameter. There are four rotating blades up underneath of this. You can kind of see them as they go around. This particular implement, oops, this particular implement was only available for a couple years in the 60s, mostly due to it is dangerous. Uh, the danger rotating knives is not kidding. These knives stick out in front, and when the unit is running, you can't see these blades moving at all. It's actuated by the typical push rod up front. I'm gonna drop this down. We got the belt drive off the front PTO. That actuates it, engages the belt. The chat is on the front hitch. There's one pin here. There's another pin over on that side of the frame, just like the snow blower, just like the any front mount item on these tractors. And I'll take off this cover and give you an idea of how it all works together. All right, with all the bolts removed, what we do is could pop off. That cover. And what we can see now are all the pulleys and belts that go on underneath here. This is the PTO. All power comes from the center PTO down to that pulley, uh, which drives this belt for this blade and then it transfers over to this blade and then transfers over to that blade. These are adjustable pulleys for the tension. Uh, you can see things are very, very close in here. They're adjustable only by pulling the pulley out and relocating the pulley based upon these holes that are in the frame. Uh, it's a very crude way to tension the belts. And you can see here, I'm even getting some different wear. But that's how it's powered. And in just a second, I'll fire it up. And then you can see as these rotating knives are rotating, you can see them now. Once they're ro moving, you cannot see them. So this is extremely dangerous. You do not want to get your feet anywhere near that.